Good evening. I'm really excited to be here. Um, I think uh, the startup experience is very special. Um, it really comes from minds coming together. And out of it, a uh, germ of an idea forms. And that turns out to be a seed that gets planted. And if it grows, it becomes a company. Sometimes maybe only one out of 10 really survive. But it happens in groups like this. A billion dollar company could be in this room right tonight, yet to be formed, yet to even be thought of. Um, I'm CEO of a uh, company in Los Angeles. We've got offices in LA, Seattle, and uh, Beijing. And uh, basically we do R&D and uh, kind of advanced technologies and how they weave together. Um, and then uh, when the technologies reach a certain level of ripeness, uh, that we might form them into a company and then uh, spin them out. So then we have a portfolio of like around 10 companies. Uh, I've got a long background in uh, digital entertainment and e-commerce, designing rock tours and music videos and special effects for movies and working on computer games. Uh, and what's cool is um, all of these uh, earlier uh, experiences roll right up into VR really, really nicely because uh, all of the tools that we really use to build games, uh, we're gonna use those in VR. We're just gonna get different camera moves, different kinds of things we're doing. Uh, so um, the start, we're really kind of living in a startup incubator. Um, and I'll just tell you one really simple story. About uh, 15 years ago, I, was, uh, uh, I sometimes hold a uh, uh, Saturday uh, kind of circle of uh, uh, young people in tech. And uh, I go around the room and have everybody kind of share what their skills are and what their dreams are. What do they really want to make? What do they want to, and what are their capabilities? And uh, this one guy and I uh, connected around an idea I had because I was dealing a lot with visual imagery uh, on how to store my visual images more effectively because databases at that time were re relational databases and they did alphanumerics, you know, where do you live, what's your phone number, that kind of thing. And I needed to store uh, images with a lot of uh, database uh, capabilities. So we had to invent a new database. And I needed an object-oriented programmer and uh, this kid was like, really a hot programmer and he had kind of a similar idea and we kind of rolled together and uh, uh, built it and within uh, probably about six months uh, we formed a corporation, uh, raised about a million dollars to get uh, more coders and it launched and uh, that became the database for the Human Genome Project uh, which was really cool. <laughs> so just from a conversation in a group like this, you know, we formed, we formed a company that grew up and and, uh, you know, uh, lots of companies all over the world uh, used it. And it was uh, just, just cool to see how the startup model works. And so that's what we try to do is find really great ideas, really great people, and then nurture and, uh, and grow them. So one of the most exciting things happening right now is virtual reality. Wow. I mean, it's just everywhere. Everybody's talking about it. Augmented reality, virtual reality, these artificial realities uh, that we're making. Uh, we know the potential is amazing. Uh, we know that we're in a very, very early phase, and, and uh, the former speaker was speaking really well. We don't really have the language for VR yet. It's such a new medium. So what happens is we do the old thing in it. Oh, we played games before? Oh, let's play the same game in VR. No, no, no. That's, VR, that's probably not what it's about. When the internal combustion engine was invented, uh, the first thing they did was mechanize the farm. The idea of cars and highways and suburbs and all that kind of stuff came way later. And so a lot of times we take the new technology and try to solve an old problem with it. It takes us a little while to figure out, oh my God, there's new opportunities here. We're not just rehashing these ideas in this new medium. Because it is a fundamental new medium. Uh, so what's great about that is uh, we're at the dawn of a new era. So think about it in 1994 when the World Wide Web uh, blew up. Look where it went from a few websites to everything we do now, right? We shop, we s Google, we do everything. That, that web is ubiquitous, right? And it's obsolete right now. It's obsolete from now on. Over the next 10 years, the entire World Wide Web will go into 3D. It'll be all in VR and AR. Think about that. Why, why would you have a flat web page when you could go shopping in a real cool virtual world, right? With a digital avatar assistant with high-level AI that 
Gia is going to make. You know, th these are exciting worlds, and this is where it all comes together, where the AI and the VR and AR all weave together so that our lives are so freaking enhanced, we just become really super intelligent. Our medicine is amazing. Our ability to have social gatherings is phenomenal. Uh, I mean, it just it's an evolutionary uh, step for us all. So we're at the beginning of the beginning. We don't have any idea what this is all about right now. We're making some money uh, with it, and uh, uh, we'll all learn as we go. But the big, uh, the big ideas are still in front of us. You know, we, we, Facebook didn't come along for a long, long time after the World Wide Web evolved. And we're st the web is still evolving, uh, but it's going to jump into these new mediums. And you're going to have two kinds, and this is where the opportunity is for you guys. Um, as a startup uh, thinker, it's like, okay, we're at the dawn of a whole new thing. So actually, we're going to do everything we did there, and it's completely virgin territory. So we could actually do what we really love and just do it well and become the stakeholder of that space in the new virtual environment. So, yay. See what I mean? So that's a really nice freedom. You know? uh, so we're, we're at the beginning of the beginning. Follow your intuition. Build things you love. Uh, the market's small now, but it's going to double every year. It's exponential. So, you know, get on the wave and ride it. Um, so VR is not one thing either. Uh, there's a consumer side of VR, there's a business side of VR, right? Most of us are focused on the consumer side. That's where all the big action is. But business VR is going to be massive in training and education and all kinds of things. It's really remarkable. Did I just bump again there? Yeah. Uh, tethered versus mobile. I think tethered is going to go away, but basically, if you want the really high-end experience right now with megapixels ripping through the through the line, you've got to be tethered to a pretty powerful computer. And so, you know, uh, the mobile phones are really cool because you got them, plug it in, go, but it doesn't give you the full experience that the tether does. But they'll probably untether those over the next 12 to 24 months. Uh, artificial realities versus uh, VR video. So um, uh, artificial realities obviously are things that we construct completely from scratch. And the other, the other big use of VR is live video. Right, streaming video, edited video, where you can actually go to visit Venice, France, and do various kinds of things, or artificial realities, uh, where we actually just construct these magical worlds, kind of like the land of Pandora, you know, and uh, Avatar, uh, and we go and hang out there. And in some cases, we'll weave them together, particularly with augmented reality. And then there's a whole other thing called mixed reality, which kind of slams these things together a little bit, um, like. Right now, there's, there's a wall in here. I can actually feel it here. Uh, but it's just a great wall. But if I had goggles on and it was actually mapped to this room perfectly, I might walk over here and there's a readout panel you know, for the Starship Enterprise and I have to fly it. Uh, that can all be woven right into the existing environment that you're in. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, um, so there's lots of opportunities. I mean, tons on the consumer side. I mean, learn a language. I mean, uh, teach medicine. I mean, education alone is going to be billions of dollars of business, right? Just huge. Uh, and then if you've got a specialty in business, you have some particular skill set, um, you can even into that area because it's going to enter every area. When the World Wide Web came out, I'm old enough to have been there in 1994 when the World Wide Web came out. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> We had no idea what, oh, what we could do with it. Warning. Oh, okay, one minute warning. All right, let's do the next thing here. VR market's massive, so you're, you're playing into a huge marketplace. I mean, it's looking like 100, 150 billion uh, by 2020, 2022, somewhere in there. Uh, the whole web has to come over, medicine, shopping, manufacturing. Uh, smartphones became ubiquitous in 10 years. VR will probably, be, will probably beat that. It's the next new medium. Uh, VR will combine with AI, of course, as we've been talking about. All applications need to be smart or else they're dumb. <laughs> so every aspect of our human existence is going to be impacted by this new AI, VR, AR combo. That's why I thought the title of this weekend was great, because you guys are like right in the hot spot. Uh, and there's going to be three worlds, right? At the end of the day, we're going to have basic human intelligence, our natural mind. We're going to have AIs, and we're going to have a mix of the two, right? We're going to have augmented thinking, right? in various ways. Then with the same thing in the world. We'll have a natural reality, trees and buildings and things like that, AIs, and a mix of the two. And I think we're heading into some strange science fiction territory. 
Uh, and, and the third one, well, of course, we have humans, robots, and some combination of the two. There'll be cyborgs <laughs> all over the place in 20, 30 years. So 2020 is where I see the crossover year. This year is kind of a growth year. Last year, the, uh, the big VRs just came out. So next year, uh, we'll, double, we'll double up again. Uh, but by 2020, we should have some pretty sophisticated uh, systems and lots of users. Uh, so if you look, the 80s was the age of the PC, 90s was the World Wide Web, early 2000s, the mobile, uh, 2020 and beyond is this VR, AR, AI. So just get in, catch the wave. Uh, basically, lots of commitment, lots of stick to itiveness, tacking and moving around, and you can totally succeed because it's like a giant new market that's just opening up, you know. Wait, thank you. Do not drop the mic. Yeah, don't drop the mic.